హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ లర్న్ విత్ నికిల్ సో టుడే వి హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ అ సమ్ వెర్ వీ హ్యావ్ బింగ్ గివెన్ అ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ అండ్ ద టాప్ వ్యూ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డ్రా ఇట్స్ ఐసోమెట్రిక్ వ్యూ సో ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ యాజ్ ఆల్వేజ్ వీ విల్ డ్రా ద యాక్సెస్ విల్ డ్రా స్ట్రేట్ లైన్ అండ్ ఫ్రామ్ అ పాయింట్ వీ విల్ డ్రా టు యాంగిల్స్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీ So here 30 degree and the other side 30 degree. Then draw a line. This angle is 30. This angle is 30. Then the 90 degree angle. So this part you have to do in each and every sum for isometric projection. This is the start you have to do. After that, we will begin with the actual sum. So, after completing this, now we will calculate the width, height and the depth of the figure. So, the total width of the figure is the total of this that is 110. So, total width will be 110. That will be for the front view. From the zero axis, height will be 60. And the depth will be from the front view. That is this 20 plus 20 plus 20. That will be 60. So total box of the three dimensional figure will be 110 into 60 into 60. So with this dimensions we will create a rectangular box. So that it will be easier for us because the total three dimensional figure will be inside that box only. So here I have marked 110. Here we will mark 60. And here 60. After marking these points, we will draw the rectangular box. Drawing the rectangular box is simple. You have to just draw parallel lines from these three lines. So taking parallel from this line, the other. So see how I am drawing the figure. This is nothing but the rectangular box. And within this box, our three dimensional figure will be. So it will be simple for us. So we will know the, its width, height and depth. And it will not extend beyond that. Just checking the dimensions. Are the dimensions properly been marked? If you take parallel lines properly, it will be perfect. This distance is 60 and this distance is 60. Now, going with the actual figure. Now, this total distance we have already found out that is 110. So, you can see it is a straight dark line. You can also see it from the top view. This line is 110. Now the height that is 60. You can see from the top view as well. Now from here the top view this is 60. So drawing the straight dark line of 60. Now this total distance we have calculated that is 60. As you can see this is the point O point. So we will draw a straight dark line of 60. You can begin from anywhere. Just within the box it should come. Now from this point, as you can see from the front view, it is extended up till 20. And there is again a 10 extension. That we can find out from the top view. It is the center part, this part. Its height is 10, which is extended above. And again from that side it is 20. So between there is a width of 20, which is height is 10. So for drawing that, first we will extend this height that is up to 20, which is visible from the front view. So this has been drawn, that is from both the sides. Now, its depth is 
on the top view you can see it is 20 20 20 so from both the sides we will take mark dark lines as 20 and 20 now the center part remaining is 20 now at the center part you can see it is extended above at 10 so from here we will draw a straight line parallel to the 90 degree line this is 10 we'll draw that dark part both the sides we will take it as 10 now joining this so from top you can see there is a dark line so means it is joined Now this part has been done. Now it is extended inwards. You can see it is extended inwards, and this part is also extended inwards. So you can see the projection. Now this part is fifty plus fifteen plus twenty-five. That is total is ninety. So this part is ninety. So from here we'll draw a dark line parallel to this line. Keep that in mind. All the lines which you draw should be parallel to the first three lines you have drawn, either of those three lines. So this line will be parallel to this line, and we'll mark it dark. That is ninety. So this line is this. Now it is extended up. so parallel to this line this is parallel to the 90 degree line this is the top view you can see these are the projections i'll just draw the projections so it will be easy for you as we have studied orthographic so as you can see the projections now this line is that from the top view so it will be extended here that will be dark now drawing the top view this line is dark that is 20 and from top view you can see so taking parallel to this line this will be 20 20 20 so i have drawn it light then i'll mark 20 20 this is 20 and this is 20 so this part has been drawn now this is extended further at 25 so this part is extended at 25 you can see it from the front view and compare with the top view so parallel to this line this will be extended up to 25 so first i have drawn it light now marking this as 25 mm so this is 25 mm i'll mark it dark from this side also 25 mm mark it dark now this is joined as it is a dark line you can see there is a bend from that so this dark line indicates there is a bend so there is a slant line now this slant line looks like a square from the top view now we'll draw from the left side and then we'll join the slant view Now this part is extended till fifty, as you can see from the front view. So marking this distance as fifty millimeter, drawing this dark. So 
so this part has been done that is the 50 mm line now this is again the dark line at the top view so there is a bend so we have drawn this now joining this this slant line so the slant line from the top view is a square so this is this part from the front view you can see it is a slant line now we have almost done with the figure now just completing the parts as it is a block three dimensional view so it will have the lines inward lines also so first drawing this light so see you have to complete the lines which are remaining so it will look like a three dimensional view so drawing this line will be the edges so as you can see now it resembles like a three dimensional side now same thing on the other side as well taking parallel to this line we'll draw here and the last line remaining here also it will be parallel as it is on this side it will be on that side also so make it dark it will be till this so we have done completed with the three dimensional figure few remaining lines how uh, this i have to draw it dark i have drawn it light first you have to draw it light then make it dark with this we have completed with the figure the marking of the dimensions the dimensions which are given you have to mark them on the figure which are given in the view so extension lines and parallel to this line as this is 20 see how i am drawing the arrow it should be parallel to the figure and i have marked 20 Now this is twenty five. This extension is twenty five. So drawing the extension lines, it should be light, and then drawing the arrow. This is twenty five. Now next, this slant line distance is fifteen. We'll mark it later. This distance is fifty. then this height is 60 whatever dimensions are given in the views you have to mark it this is 20 20 20 so drawing the extension line it should be light than your three dimensional view 20 20 and 20 now the slant part is remaining that is 15 So we'll just draw a line. The slant is not 15. The thickness is 15. So I have taken the distance. See how I have marked as its thickness is 15, not the slant is 15. And the final part, which is very important, that is marking the front view. So we have to draw the arrow X in the direction of front view. As this is the front view, we have drawn the arrow X. Thank you for watching do subscribe